Welcome, this is the energy vibration. Um, love reading for the Librans and Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration that is coming out. You Librans, please, um, please thumbs up, like these videos, share these videos, let others know about these love readings. These are free. There are no on demand, so on demand only comes up with the general reading and the moon reading, okay? Because those are information that you guys are supposed to have. Now, whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring, you need to realize that life is about to change in love for you. Liberance is a new month, so the energy vibration is here. Um, there is also new love that is coming in for you okay so you liberals I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back my hair is a little bit not wet so um, let's see what's coming in for the liberals in the month of June so um, please like share these videos thumbs up cross watch cross watch cross watch that's how you know if your partner is cheating on you so I've already called upon all the loving angels and um, the goddess of Venus to stand with me and stand in my heart and deliver the messages the angels of love to surround us and for um, positive love energies to be flowing through these readings. So let's look at the liberals and call upon the angels of love who are protecting the liberals in your love relationships to come in and show us what is happening for you guys okay so expect a gift to come in now a gift is always a surprise like an engagement something unexpected um, someone unexpected coming in your life too this is also situations that can transpire for you guys so expect this to come in this is going to be wonderful because you are definitely going to be connecting with someone and um, whatever is transpiring it's very very unexpected um, what is going to be coming out okay it's like uh, unbelievable that you meet the love of your life um, you ladies you beauty queen um, you are also here in your reading in the first week and the energy of uh, the Caucasian man okay so a beauty queen can both anyone the same color but we're seeing the Caucasian men coming up in the first week the Caucasian men and the beauty queen so let's see what's coming up in the second week we have um, past love um, some of you could be connecting or reconnecting with a past love someone who you have known from past lifetime they could be unexpectedly returning in your life as a gift okay so they could be unexpectedly returning in your life some of you could be pregnant or getting pregnant you could be um, reconnecting with someone from a past life and um, getting pregnant yet yeah, so made to inflame pregnancy some of you are, are dealing with a Caucasian a fair male this is your twin flame or um, soulmate this is your um, twin flame this is definitely your twin flame so if you are dealing with a Caucasian or someone from a different color or nationality it is your twin flame let's see what's coming up in the third week in the third week I'm seeing young male coming up now this is these are people between the ages of 18 and 45 so this person is definitely from this person is definitely from a past life they're going to be doing something unexpectedly um, they want to reconnect with you okay so definitely they want to reconnect with you so whatever is happening and transpiring they want to reconnect with you um, this could be someone who is younger than you or is young at heart um, what else is coming out this is a karmatic situation so some of you are dealing with um, a past love who is returning in your life and they need to 
end um, a karmatic situation. They definitely need to end a karmatic situation. Now the twin flames are here and there is some control issues. Some of you could be dealing with a Caucasian that is your twin flame and it's very, very controlling. Be aware of this. The young man that is coming up, I'm seeing them connecting with mature women or wants to connect to mature women. Um, this is an issue and a situation that is transpiring that these young men wants to um, and there is the women so there is definitely um, the women are coming up the women wants um, open relationship okay the women definitely wants open relationship so who is going to be affected the mature married men are going to be affected in this month so you liberans you liberans mature married men you're going to be affected in this month okay so let's look at this um where we have the gifts is coming in okay so there is definitely gifts that is coming in and the gifts is all about um, the marriage, the um, unexpected, um, um, you know, like unexpected weekend trips away. Um, yeah, unexpected weekend trips away. Um, that could be coming up for you guys um, this is wonderful that your soulmate came in it's really a wonderful issue okay gifts or presents unexpected gifts things that touch your art token roses romance desire um, they can be bought in stores but um, you know um, your partner is very generous with something um, it could be also wisdom and awareness the gifts can be either um, material gifts or um, for your soul purpose and growth okay so these gifts are just being you know very wonderful now the beauty queens you're living your life to its fullest inside and out and you don't need any drama in your life you know you just want to go through life and you're someone who has the energy of a win-win okay you don't need drama in your life you just want to go through life in a very very positive way you don't need to um, be dramatic okay um, the light skin blondes are red hair blue eyes and that sort of a thing this um, there is a significant man in your life okay so some of you um, are dealing with a significant man in your life and uh, um, this person is, uh, um, is, you know, he, he thinks the world of you. Um, he thinks you're beautiful. He thinks you're just so super sweet. He really thinks the world of you. And he is um, definitely um, going to be um, showing you that. Okay, so unexpected. Um, he's definitely going to be showing you that. He's crazy about you. Um, so expect some uh, gifts unexpected. Okay, so we have two energies and this person is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Some of you could be definitely dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Now, if you're dealing with a Caucasian or someone light here, light skin, blue eyes, this person is tired. He's really, really tired. Okay, um, definitely the Knight of Swords. So you young men are definitely going to be... Um, letting someone know how, how much they care about you and this is going to be good so what i'm definitely seeing happening and this could come up in the first week but it's it is a monthly reading so it will affect you other people in different times on different stages of the month and take what take what resonates with you and leave the rest and i don't think that i always have to say this because a lot of people keep on saying take what resonates with you and leave the rest 
I think people are smart enough to understand that not everything in a region resonates with you. Maybe one week it resonates, maybe it all resonates, sometimes it doesn't, that sort of a thing. But if you're drawn to a person, that means whatever they're saying is resonating with you. So what I'm seeing here is that definitely um, you beauty queens, um, you beauty queens are definitely um, need to take some rest. Your beauty queens have been going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it. You need to take some rest, okay? Some of you are going to definitely receive a message um, from another air sign person, which is a Gemini or an Aquarius. You're definitely going to be receiving a message from a Gemini or an Aquarius. There's definitely a, a message that's coming in from a Gemini or an Aquarius. And this message is coming in with unexpected surprise it could be unexpected money coming in whatever is transpiring is that this gift is unexpected there is something unexpected that is um, coming in for you that you weren't aware of so this is going to be good so um it's as if whoever this person is whether male or female is going to be surprising you unexpectedly and this is good it's someone you're definitely in a relationship with or someone that you least expect to had um certain feelings for you the beauty queens are good some of you are going to be meeting um a taurus Virgo or a um, no a pisces cancer or a scorpion and um, it's as if you have met this person before they're going to be letting you know how much they feel about you so um, whoever this person is this person is coming up you're going to be receiving message from this person and this person is definitely going to be letting you know how much they care about you and they feel about you some of you blonde um, blonde um, men um, whatever is happening is that some of you needs to take take rest and make a decision in your life okay yeah and Vetia uh, um, it is visible um, Oh, it, it is it is it is good um, for you also to understand um, this so for you um, you know light skin blonde blue eyes fear uh, eye um, you know you're very significant in the life of someone else some of you need to make a decision okay you need to make a decision um, because um, um, I'm seeing a connection between an older Pisces cancer or scorpion with um, a beautiful woman out there okay this connection is here you could be letting this person know how much they feel about you okay so whatever is transpiring you could be letting this person know how much they feel about you
So, my excuses, I had to take that call. So, um, yeah, um, as, as you know, whatever is coming in, there is a lot of love, especially from a mature man. Some of you mature man is, is um, there is message of love that you're um, given. Some of you could be in a relationship with a mature Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion and there's a lot of love that this person is really um, it's as if this this person really cares about you and they're connecting with you in such a, a high strong level and this is just so good because the situation what is transpiring is that there's a lot of love that is coming up it could be from this person but um, and it's only if you are like young and beautiful that this person is seeing you and this person wants to connect with you because I'm seeing the message of love that is coming I'm seeing an older person um, a older man that is connecting with some of you um, younger people but um, for um, the young beautiful women um, you're gonna be connecting with um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn uh, and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion so um, this is good okay so um, definitely messages is coming in someone is going to let you know how much they care about you and how beautiful you are and uh, they want to be with you or you know connect with you or spend some time with you whatever um, the situation is and this is going to be very wonderful and very positive there is definitely news of love coming in someone wants to connect with you someone wants to build a family with you and connect with you this is um, definitely definitely coming in so um, expect that so um, expect unexpected uh, um, situations um, and uh, um, realize that life is full of uh, surprises okay so um, that is good so again um, uh, you need to understand um, where you are what what's happening and what is transpiring in your life you need to really understand where you are in certain situation and certain um, um, actions that you take um, what is going to be reactions but it's really basically going to be um, a very positive uh, um, and this is going to be good um, this is going to be good okay um, don't um because there's definitely love that is uh, coming in okay and the love that is coming in is very very positive okay it's it's extremely positive the love that is coming in um and it's it's good because um, this is going to be changing your life in so many different forms um, and this is going to be good okay so um, this is wonderful Alright, so sorry, I'm doing a thousand things at a time. So let's look at what's happening in the second week. Now, some of you are going to be reconnecting with someone from a past life. This person can be a past life or this person could come in your life. 
they want to make kids with you this is your twin flame or soulmate whoever this person is they are your twin flame or soulmate they want to have kids with you they want to build a family with you are you ready for this love okay so you Aries um, whatever is happening there is a twin flame soul made a love that is coming in your life are you ready are you ready for this um, relationship because they want to have kids and build a family with you um, definitely this is someone from the past they want a new start so a past love is coming in asking for a new start do you want to give this person this new start okay this is going to be the question do you want to give this person this new start okay because whoever this person is they really want to have a connection with you and they want to have this new start are you going to give this new person this person has a um, powerful love that is coming in and uh, um, some of you um, be careful um, um, be careful okay some of you could be um, just just stop stop for a moment oh my god if you do choose to be in love with this person and do choose to accept the offer that is coming in your life is going to be so wonderful okay your life is just gonna be so wonderful so if you choose to um, be in love with this person yes okay so some of you who have known let, let, let's just um, put it out there okay so let's put it out there definitely 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 some of you who were some of you who were okay some of you because we have three different forms of love we have the past love which is people who you have had relationship in past lifetime then we have the twin flame love the twin flame love is the the soul the seas of the soul and the soulmate is people who you connect with in past life okay so what is happening and what is transpiring this is what is happening and what is transpiring I'm seeing that someone a past love this is not a, um, a twin flame and it's not a soulmate once a new start and you know it's as if the universe is saying some of you decide to close the relationship and move forward and the universe is saying no don't do that just give it a chance give it a chance see where it will go give the relationship a chance and see where it will go now what happened is that um, if you do that I'm seeing that this person wants um, to have kids with you it's, it's, it's as if they are um, feeling a past lifetime where they were connected with you and the kids is as if they want to recreate that past lifetime that they had to deal with kids because it was a happy moment for them and this person um, is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and is um, open for this they're definitely open for this they're definitely um, realizing your worth and is open for it so it is as if they are understanding of what is to inspire and definitely definitely is open for um, this relationship so here it is and here it is your understanding that uh, um, the connection with kids because kids call upon their um, their birth father and mother um, you know the mother to bring the egg and the father to bring the sperm and what is transpiring and what is basically happening is that whoever is coming from a past life I can remember a very good positive moment with you in a lifetime where there was a lot of happiness and joy okay they they are it's as if that every time they touch you or see you they're um, seeing their past life with you flowing by and they came back to relive 
this past life with you because it was their happy moment are you going to give this person this happy moment is this happy moment going to be right for you and for this person at this time this is another question okay this is definitely another question so it is a yes go for it okay so whoever is coming back from the past from a past lifetime it is a yes go for it okay they want a new start do not close the door because you're you wanted to close this door and just leave the stuff behind but it's as if the universe is saying do not close this door because there is um, a sort of uh, there is a sort of new start that you can receive um, there is definitely children situations with children I'm seeing some of you connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, this is also someone who could be connecting with their twin flame or soulmate so some of you are connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn with the women and with the men you're connecting with your twin flame or an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so be aware and know where the twin flame energies are coming up for you guys so some of you are definitely connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and in twin flame relationships and some of you are connecting with the men um, in twin flame relationship as an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay so that is very important for you guys now what is transpiring also is that some of you are going to be meeting um, 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 these hurt sign people and um, if you realize that you are close to a earth sign because um, this is the Libran so the liberals are not really close to an earth sign but has earth sign energy vibration you could be connecting definitely you could be connecting um with hurt signs if you have some moon rising sign um whoever this person is there they are your twin flame some of you are dealing with a person between the ages of 18 and 45 they are your twin flame they want to be with you um they they are definitely your twin flame it's unbelievable but yes they are your twin flame and they want to connect with you so some of you could be dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, whoever this person is is definitely your twin flame um, I'm seeing this coming up as men and women connecting um, this uh, yeah why um, this person is um, born January end of January um, the end of the changing of the signs so they have Aries uh, Aquarians um, energy vibration and this is why you're connecting with this person they are definitely your twin flame or soulmate they're definitely your twin flame and soulmate okay so if you are um, connecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, that is born ending of January um, the, 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 the cups between um, the, the Capricorns and the Aquarians yes they are your twin flame and soul flame okay there is a new start um, that is going to be coming up connect with this person because they are your twin flame and soulmate Wow this is beautiful single single singles there is time to be mingle this is a month for the singles to mingle because there's a lot of new starts in relationships you're going to be connecting with a lot of people in relationships so you singles out there who are looking for someone the possibilities that exist that someone is also looking for you and it's going to be very positive because you're going to be receiving this message in this month you're definitely going to be receiving this message in this month so whatever that is happening or whatever that is transpiring there is news that is coming in for you guys and you're definitely going to be receiving this message in this month and it's going to be good okay so wonderful energies um, relationships people who are going to be ha um, having relationships with twin flame soulmate and people um, are, are going to be realized that they're pregnant okay um and a taurus where we're capricorn could be pregnant for you and it's going to be um very good because these babies had acts for you and 
that person to bring them into this world so it's going to be good so go ahead this is wonderful a lot of singles are going to be meeting um, past life love is going to be coming in their life so um, this is like such a powerful powerful month for you guys and you know this energy is in the second week but it could be also in the um, it could affect people in different times go back and check out your readings okay especially for your partners or especially for people who you're interested in um, the days for the singles to mingle is uh, the five seven six and nine five seven six and nine for the singles to mingle okay um, soulmate days soulmate days are powerful days which is the 20th and the 16th so be aware okay i'm gonna start giving all right so um there's gonna be some communication with a young person i think a young person is going to be communicating with you very upright communicating with you very upright okay um they are going to be letting you know of their troubles trials and temptation that they have to go through themselves okay so um, you could be meeting someone young new and um, they're going to be letting you know of their trials and tribulation that they are going to karma is here but um, some of you are going to be receiving new love oh my god i told you guys i told you guys i love you liberals i love you liberals so much you liberals are so i love liberals i just love you guys i never said it in mouth okay so some of you liberal men 45 years and older you definitely have some control issues which you have to work on so whatever is tra and transpiring and happening some liberals um between the ages of um some liberals you have control issues whatever the situation is whatever is transpiring you definitely definitely have some control issues you older men this is coming up okay some of you older men listen to your intuition about a situation okay so some of you older men could be in a relationship with someone from a past life listen to your information about the relationship if this is someone that you're going back to it's okay because they're no longer up to their old tricks i think they have learned a lessons and they are trying to vibrate in a positive relationship they are no more um up to their old tricks they're letting these things go so you can give this relationship a chance okay so let's go in and check out so we have the young men dealing with some karmatic issues and these karmatic issues are control issues okay so it's going to be affecting young people um, where you young people are dealing with some karmatic issue and these are control issues okay so these are um, karmatic issues that is coming from past five time that is coming up and it's very controlling you're controlling your relationships definitely I'm seeing an offer coming in where um, there is new love that is coming in but this love is um, this love has a lot of karma to clear okay so sometimes you meet people and you're not understanding why this person you have met and this person is coming in your life is because um, you have to help them clear karmas from past lifetime now you young people definitely is going to be receiving an offer and this offer is going to let you understand who you are and why this relationships needs to happen so it's as if you're definitely receiving a new offer and you with this new offer it's going to be helping you to understand um, what is this relationship is about and how to deal with this relationship going forward okay so whatever the issue is and whatever that is transpiring you need to 
find a way um, to heal whatever this karmatic situation because definitely someone is coming in or you could be offering someone um, a relationship or saying you know let's move the relationship to the next level um, but what is transpiring is that um, the truth it's coming it's starting over with a truth okay it's definitely coming and starting over with truth I'm seeing some of you young people are going to be really communicating and really saying and, and telling what you have all gone through okay what you have all gone through I'm, I'm seeing young people coming up and really opening up to you and explaining to you their tribulations that they have gone through okay so um, it's as if you have met this person and um, you could be the same ages between 18 and 45 and you're both communicating with each other and letting each other know exactly what you have gone through especially in relationships now this is like the clearing and the healing because you're you're opening up you're letting out you're letting you know you are definitely here opening up and letting out whatever needs to um, come out okay so definitely a lot of you are going to be meeting new love but this new love that is coming in is coming in to clear karma so again it is new love coming in and you know but there's nothing bad because it's as if this time when you guys reconnect you're definitely definitely going to be clearing up a lot of issues so whatever the situation is or was um, when this new person comes in you're definitely definitely going to be clearing up a lot of issues that has been happening some of you who are dealing with control issues you're going to be receiving a message from someone saying that you know I see where you're going I see the point that and I see exactly where you're going and what is transpiring and what is happening but definitely um, it's as if they want to come out and and be just honest about exactly what is transpiring okay so definitely they're going to be coming out and just come out and be honest about what is transpiring why they behave the way they behave and why um, it, um, it's as if they're controlling of whatever the situation is and how they behave okay and this is just so wonderful so positive because what is going to be transpiring is that with this um, horrible controlling situations you're going to be understanding where the person is coming from why is the person controlling what does it affect them why are they controlling because most people who are controlling it's just that they um, was treated injustice as a child um, they feel as if they were always left behind um, some of them just um, want to create a power um, a, a, a power issue where they want to be the rain and you know the chariot moves forward with two horses and they want to always control whatever is going to be happening and it's as if you're going to be learning that that is not what is supposed to be happening okay you're definitely going to be learning that that is not what's supposed to be happening but definitely an offer is coming up and this offer from this new love that is coming in your life you too have to clear some karma okay so um, definitely the singles you're going to be meeting someone and whoever you're going to be meeting you need to clear karma with this person and it's not going to be painful or anything it's, 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 it's going to be actually positive because um, now you know that you're clearing karma with a person so you're going to be more open to the issues that transpire so you can resolve the issues very very nice readings for you Librans. I am surprised of your reading very wonderful nice um, reading for you Librans. so here we go looking at the women and um we have the mature women we have uh, we have the women all the women um women 
um, 18 to 45 we have mature women 45 years and older so it's all about the women and what is transparent is that you guys are kind of looking forward or want to build open relationship for whatever the reason is is that some of you are thinking is that something for me because I have been having these are a relationship is it okay to have open relationship especially the younger women they're looking forward to have open relationship and the older women are basically looking forward to want to connect with other women same-sex relationship so everything is happening and we can't judge each other and do not judge each other okay do not judge each other okay so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring there is definitely some situations that is coming up don't judge each other don't look at each other and judge each other so mature women are going to more you know looking forward or thinking about opening up the doors to same-sex relationship we can't judge each other um, younger women between the age of 30 and 45 is going to be looking at open relationships so mature women what is here yeah definitely mature women are open for new possibilities new relationships new situation um, you know some of you have been in the closet for such a long time and uh, um, it's as if this is going to be opening up okay so some of you have been in the closet for such a long time and this is going to be opening up some of you young people are definitely going to be showing up um, for yourself because it's as if you're understanding who you are and this is um, definitely going to be good okay so some of you because I'm seeing some sadness with open relationships so some of you could have dealing with a Pisces cancer and a scorpion um, this person choose for open relationships and you're having some sadness dealing with this some of you mature women are going to be deciding to go in the same-sex relationship and you're definitely going to be happy you're definitely going to be finding your happiness in the same-sex relationship so whatever has been transpiring some of you women are definitely going to be feeling happy in the same sex relationship i'm seeing the younger women there is some sadness lies and deception with a younger woman sadness lies and deception in an organization okay and all these and the truth is coming out so as uh, some of you were dealing with the younger um um, a younger woman and whatever this was is that she has lied you could have been and you could have met this person at work and she has lied and deceived and did some or other things in an organization okay and it's all coming out open relationships are with the energy of the Pisces cancer or scorpion and whatever is transpiring is that this person if you were in a relationship with this person this person has turned their backs on this open relationship and they're very saddened by what is transpired because um you know um they didn't want to open a relationship they wanted to have you all the by themselves 100 percent without these issues in their lives okay so ladies and gentlemen it was a wonderful beautiful um reading and um, please share these reading check out your partner's reading to see what is happening and i want to say namaste until next time